Hey guys, it's JSHDIY and welcome back to the Happy Side of YouTube. I am super excited because today I will be showing you guys 10 different ways to make slime without glue or borax. As you probably know already, if you've come to my channel before, in every video I post, I give notification squad shoutouts to everybody who turns on the notification bell after they've subscribed. So today's notification squad shoutouts go to Fennec Fox. Waja Zia, Sadia XOXO, and Daniela Sampal. If you would like to get a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is be subscribed and have the notification bell hit. Also, I will be sending out a bunch of free slime packages. Like this video, watch this video to the very end without skipping, and comment down below. And also, are subscribed to my channel. These slime packages have so many cool different slimes in them. I also put some AirPod slimes I made in today's video, so I can't wait to send all those slime packages out to everybody that followed those steps. Slime recipe I'm going to be putting to the ultimate test is Ombre Dish Soap Clear Slimes. I will be testing two different recipes to make this, but the first one is just the normal Dawn Dish Soap Clear Slime. I got this crystal clear Dawn Dish Soap from Target. I thought it was super cool because you usually don't see clear Dawn dish soap, but I'll be making two colors for the first one because it's ombre I'll be doing blue and pink. So here is my cup that I will be having the pink in I will have the blue as the main color So that's why I have more blue than pink But basically once you have your Dawn dish soap, it is time to activate it So for this you're going to be needing some salt I just have my normal salt that I always use and I'm just going to be adding a decent amount into each of them the activation process down for making soap slimes can be difficult so what you want to do is just add a little bit of salt at a time until you start seeing it congeal and turn into slime i'm going to be dyeing both of these with some normal food coloring i'm just making this one blue as i said earlier and then i'm going to make the other one a light pink color and then we're going to mix them together that's why we have them in two different containers so that we can put them all in one and then we can let it sit and hopefully it will turn into an ombre slime so here is the one i'm putting the red in i'm just going to use this gel food color for this it is sometimes hard to get the perfect pink color but i think gel food coloring works the best have two different color slimes and you mix them together the colors will definitely change and the colors can kind of change also when we're letting them sit for a while so make sure that you have a little bit darker than you normally would want it because they will change later but then once you have your two slimes you just want to add it into your container but leave a little bit of space at the top because the last step is adding in more of the clear dish soap to the top so it goes to the bottom because it has less weight than the other two i don't know how to explain it but i watched it in the video so I'm gonna do my best to describe it. I'm just going to let this sit for a while because the salt will dry it out. The next one I'm gonna be making is shampoo dish soap slime. I have this blue dish soap and I also have this pink one. So we're going to try to make this one so you're going to be needing a 3 to 1 ratio of shampoo to dish soap. One being dish soap and the three being the shampoo. I am just adding in my dish soap into the container. This part looks super cool, I thought, when the dish soap was mixing into the shampoo because it made this little bubble inside of the shampoo, except for I knew it wasn't going to last because I had to mix it all together. So now I'm just mixing it together, as you guys can see. It did definitely have a chemical reaction because it started to congeal instantly after i started mixing it you guys can see and it also got a little less clear which i was a little worried about but now i'm just going to add a little food coloring because i wasn't super happy with the color so i just added food coloring to the slime let them sit for two or three weeks to let all the salt dry out the dish soap and shampoo and also clear up you don't have to let them sit for a whole two weeks but i would definitely recommend it can see they're super clear although the ombre wasn't the best because it definitely kind of blended together but they look super cool so i will show you guys all the satisfying slime clips here i'm turned out super clicky and also super thick I'm also so happy with how crystal clear the slimes turned out. I was actually very surprised because it was at first kind of opaque, but they turned out super crystal clear, so I'm super happy about that.
This piece I'm going to be testing is clear nail polish no glue slime. So you're going to be needing some nail polish of your choice. I'm using clear nail polish so we can make a clear slime. You're also going to be needing a container you don't care about. I'm using this lid and also some canola oil. So starting off, you're going to need some sort of container that you can throw away after. And then you want to coat your container with a thin layer of canola oil. That little layer of canola oil in your container, it is time to start adding in your nail polish. I'm using these two bottles of clear nail polish that I picked up for Target for this recipe. And I'm just going to add both of them in. I know some people in the comments will say it is wasteful, but if this is the ingredients you have laying around your house, it is definitely worth trying. If your desired amount of nail polish in your container, it is time to activate this. This was my first time making this recipe, so I had a little bit of trouble activating it because I did not know how much canola oil I was supposed to add in, but I just added it a little bit at a time, and I was noticing it wasn't really turning into slime, so then what I realized is I had to transfer it into a bigger container so I could add more canola oil into the nail polish, and that's when I started to see it change texture. Okay, you guys, I'm currently filming this, and I just realized that you have to add a lot more canola oil in than I was thinking. So I've just dumped in a lot more. I'm just adding in a lot now. Okay. There we go. Do you guys see this? It's turning into slime. Okay. Now I see it turning into slime. Do you guys see that? Okay, this is actually so cool. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to let this soak in the slime for a little bit. Because it's actually clumping up a lot. So we'll soak this and then I'll take it out. I'm just gonna go like this so it can dry up a little bit. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're gonna let that soak in here for a little bit because it is turning into slime finally. You just need to add a lot of canola oil. Because I don't want this to stick to my hands, I'm going to use a little bit of the oil and just put it on my hands so that I can take it off in a little bit because I think the nail polish will just dry on my hands, but the canola oil basically makes it not stick anymore. So here it is. <laughs> We're gonna touch this. Oh my. Here is our finish slime. It was really sticky, but I was so surprised this worked because I, I thought when you mixed canola oil and nail polish together, it would make a slime. I would say it was a little bit too sticky to play if with. If you have any tips to make this recipe better, be sure to leave them in the comments so I can check them out and maybe try them again in my next video. This next recipe I will be showing you guys how to make is clear shampoo slime, but it is not just any ordinary clear shampoo slime because today I will be adding in AirPods to try the adding in random ingredients into slime trend. But before we can do that, we have to make the slime to add the AirPods into. So to make this, you'll be needing some Pantene or any other clear gel shampoo. Once you have some shampoo in a bowl, it is time to activate it. And for this, you're going to be needing some stevia sugar. He was sent in on Instagram by Genesis Revelia. So thank you, Genesis, for sending this recipe in. But basically what you want to do is add sugar packets into the slime. They said specifically stevia, and I've tried other sugar slime recipes that haven't really worked. So we'll see what happens when we use these ones. Basically, stevia is sugar free sugar i don't really know how to explain it but it's like fake sugar so once you've added in the sugar you just want to mix the shampoo together and apparently this is a very key part of the recipe because it starts activating when you get lots of air bubbles and then you also are going to be eating some normal salt to activate the slime you have added in the salt to the slime it is time to mix it all up and then we're going to let this dry out and sit and clear up for a while to see it thicken up so i'm gonna let this sit for a couple days and then we're going to see it once it's clear this is our shampoo slime it looks pretty good it is a little bit sticky but we're going to add the airpods in so for the reveal i got these airpods on wish.com which is a website in china and they have these on there for super inexpensive so i ordered a bunch of them for this slime so i'm not ruining any airpods don't worry no airpods were hurt in the making of this video Hey you guys, I have the AirPods on the clear slime, and it is now time to mix it all together. I saw earlier I have divided this slime up into little pieces so I can send a little piece of this slime to a bunch of you guys. So if you guys want to win one of these slime packages, just follow those rules I showed earlier and I will have more information on how to do that in the description box. But here's the slime. It looks super cool. Once it cleared up, it looked even cooler. So yeah, I love this slime so much, but I'm super excited. I get to share a piece of it with you guys. So 
slime recipe I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is DIY dish soap egg slime. So for this, you're going to be needing some dish soap of your choice and also an egg. the easiest no glue clear slime recipe in the whole entire world, so I hope you guys can try this recipe out with me. What you need to do is take an egg white and put it in a container of your choice that you can put in the refrigerator. Separated the egg white into your container you just want to start adding in your dish soap. We'll be using the Green Dawn dish soap because I think this one works best. You just want to mix it up a ton. Now this step is super important because this is when it's going to thicken up and then we're going to leave it to clear up in a little bit. But you want to keep mixing it until you see it starting to turn into a slime and form. You want to leave the slime in the refrigerator for 12 hours and it should turn into something like this. Panda Blair 125 sent in this recipe to make slime out of just crayons, hand sanitizer, and also toothpaste. So let's test it out. The comment says is to melt a crayon, add toothpaste, and hand sanitizer to it. So let's see if we can do this. I'm currently melting a crayon, as you guys can see. I just did it in 30 second intervals. This is what it looks like. Now it is completely melted. So let's add the hand sanitizer and toothpaste. I'm just going to be using this Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I've never really made a hand sanitizer recipe that works. As you guys know, they're really hard. So I hope this one works. But the next ingredient we have to add in is toothpaste. It didn't say how much to add in. So I just added in a decent amount. And then I'm now going to just mix everything up. You guys, I have mixed it up super well except for it is really not turning into a slime, so let me know in the comments below how make this slime work next time. Favorite types of slime videos to watch on YouTube are the mixing random ingredients into slime video. I will be mixing this flume block into some clear slime. Before it makes the clear slime in, I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring on the block, and now we're going to plop some of the clear slime onto the foam block. And I'm going to just let the slime spread out all over the block. I'm sorry if you guys can hear like windy sounds in the background. I actually filmed this outside because it was super sunny. I thought I could film with some natural lighting. Now I'm just going to mix the foam into the slime. Much harder than I was thinking it was going to be to mix the foam into the slime, but I eventually got there and I ended up with this foam. This actually made a super nice stretchy foam when I mixed all of the slime in and everything. Have some foam at home and want to make a foam, you should definitely try making this. The next recipe I'm going to be showing you guys is like no other, and I'm super excited to test it out with you guys today. The slime I'm going to be testing out right now is holographic slime. Now, I've never really made a good holographic slime. I've made iridescent slime. Insert a little clip right here. I never really here. figured out a way to make actual holographic slime. So when I was walking in Target, I found this stuff called holographic jelly, and I was super intrigued. I didn't think it would be actually holographic, but as you guys can see, it actually is very holographic. So what we're going to be doing to make this into slime is adding in some sort of a soap. I've picked to add in this face wash. And then we're going to activate and hopefully we'll end up with some sort of holographic slime. I'm going to actually add in a little bit more of the soap so we have a bigger slime, but this is looking pretty good. I can't wait to activate it. With this slime, I'm going to be using sea salt, but you can also use normal table salt as well. I think it will work just as well. I just had this lying around, so I thought I would use it. As you guys can see, it's starting to thicken up slowly, but it's not thickening up the best, so I'm kind of doubtful that this will work. I'm just going to take it out and start mixing it with my hands. Hopefully, it will start thickening up a little bit. It is a little bit sticky right now. It is actually turning into a nice slime, and I'm actually so pleased with how this turned out. I'm going to take this outside so we can see it with actual natural lighting so I can show you guys how holographic the slime actually is. We definitely say this was a successful recipe and the slime turned out super cool. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had a great time and if you did too, you should definitely subscribe if you aren't already as well as click the notification bell so you can get a notification every time I post a new video for you guys. You can follow me on Instagram at jshdiy if you would like to learn a little bit more Go about Go ahead me. and click on one of those videos on the screen so I can see you guys over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later today. Bye!